Alrighty, yes, the title is correct. This is a Yukon Striker construction update, weirdly enough. Um, as you know, when Yukon Striker opened for the season, things seemed rushed, things seemed incomplete, and it looks like that was true, because now that the park is closed, construction on Yukon Striker's area is continuing. So as you can see in the middle of the frame, um, you have the storage area where they store the trains being enclosed in a themed building. Um, Close-up shots also show similar structures to the top of the station um, roof, those little design kind of window chimney things being added to the top of the storage building as well. Um, from what I understand, this is so the trains can be enclosed um, in the winter as well, and then they're theming it. And I have a feeling you're going to see other areas like the turn of the station. Um, that area was greatly uncompleted or incompleted. So I have a feeling we'll see that area kind of like finished up as well for next year. And the cliff jumping that is coming to Canada's Wonderland, nothing new has taken place over there. The fencing's just been removed. We did notice one more hole kind of like um, just off to the back area of the grass hill. So this might end up actually being uh, bigger than we even thought. If you think about it, they have to fit in a pool and the cliff. So if that makes sense, the little kind of three holes you see there covered by wood are probably the pool. And then the cliff will be just behind that. So there are like little dugout holes um, behind those three that you can see with the wood planks. Um, and yeah, nothing going on with Mind Buster. I don't think you're going to see anything going on with Mind Buster. Now, from what I understand and what I've seen from driving on... What's that street called? Major McKenzie. Uh, we've seen some weird activity going on with Wild Beast. It looks like they might be retracking some of Wild Beast again. Um, but no retracking of Mindbuster or retracking going on on Mindbuster area yet. No signs of anything on Mindbuster. Just this weird big dirt hill that they've built <laughs> um, next to Mindbuster. Again, as I talked about in my previous video, it looks like Splashworks is now on a strong chokehold. It's got no land to expand in except for the forest and Mindbuster's plot of land. And then, I mean, if you really wanted to do it, you have Whitewater Canyon's forest and plot you could bulldoze and turn into a water park expansion. But I don't see that happening. So there's hardly anywhere to sit in Splashworks currently now with the cliff jumping coming. You've got it in a strong chokehold and it's at an extremely busy park. And this place is crowded and I will not be going to Splashworks anytime soon, especially with nowhere to sit um, being removed. But nonetheless, um, Winterfest looks absolutely stunning from the sky. Um, I did notice a themed area in between the lift hill of Vortex and the drop on Vortex. So it looks like there's a little midway there for Winterfest that looks really cool. But nonetheless, hope you enjoyed this quick construction update on Yukon Striker, as weird as that sounds. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others. Enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.